Hey guys, what's up? It has been a hot minute since I did a video. So this past weekend the was Rhinebeck up in upstate New York, um, along the Hudson River. And I went there with some friends of mine, um, Sharon of the Moms with Yarn podcast, Barb of the Flint Fiber Flame and no. Yeah, Flame and Fiber Podcast, our friend Jerry, and our friend Lisa. Um, while we were there, we met uh, several podcasters and um, whatnot. So I went there with the intention of buying two new spindles and some fiber to spin. Um, not natural fibers because I have plenty of alpaca and plenty of alpaca wool blends and plenty of wool. Um, to spin as well as some uh, an agora alpaca and wool blend. So agora rabbit. So I um got well. This is one of the spindles. It's walnut. Um, it's a true creation spindle, and it spins pretty good. It has four resting places for your yarn on it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this fiber also has some sparkle in it. And, um, let's see. And the fiber was from hand spun by Stefana, Stefana Isaacson. Um, so that's where the fiber is. It's a bat. I just been tearing off a little bit and spinning it um, while I was walking around the other day. And the spindle is pretty stable. Spins pretty well. Spins for a long time. So I was happy with this purchase. Okay. The next item I have to show you guys is another bag of fiber from um, hand spun by Stefana, one of her sparkle bags. And I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see if I can open it. This one has some blues, purples, reds in there. And some sparkles. Then the next spindle, well, here, I'll show you guys this. Lisa made us stitch markers, and it's on a necklace. Um, we have a cord. I'm just going to focus for you guys. But you can see there's a Halloween stitch marker and some other ones up there. So we've been wearing it. I've been wearing mine as a necklace. Pretty cool. Okay, so the next drop spindle I got. Let me see if I can find the information. Okay, it was from the Yellow Dog Farm, and it was a cute young man of many years and his wife of, of many years. She was spinning on a spinning wheel and tending to till and 
he was sitting in the back spinning on a drop spindle. So I walked over and I was looking at the spindles, picking them up, doing the one eye thing, checking the hook, hook, see if it was straight. Um, and then checking the alignment on the wood to see if the wood was churned and it was pretty even all around so it wouldn't have like a wobble, a bad wobble. And so he was teaching me how to spin and, and everything. He said, so you ready to give it a try? I said, sure. So he handed me some fiber and I picked up this spindle that I had been playing around with out of his spindles. I started my leader, started spinning. And um, he goes, huh, is this your first time spinning? I said, yep. He's, his wife turned around and looked and she said, hell no, it's not. <laughs> oh my God, it was so funny. It was so funny. She's like, this is not her first time spinning. She's been, she's been in a lace weight single. It's not her first time spinning. But this is his spindle. It's the reason it has a little wobble now is because of the way I have the cock. But it spins for for my purposes and I wanted to support them. They were an older couple there. They didn't have anybody helping them and I just wanted to support them. And they have a good product. Um this is some of the fiber from their farm. It's a merino and mohair blend. And it spins beautifully. Very, very nice fiber. Um, and it's in a sliver. Uh, and that's how much I spun on Sunday at Rhinebeck. Just sitting around, talking and watching the crowds and spinning on drop spin. Alright, so that's my second spindle purchase. That's, this is all I have left of that fiber that he had on. Um, they gave me to play with while I was spinning. So, I'm pretty, I'm thinking that's their card or their booth, their farm. Alright, so it won't take me long to spin the rest of that up. Okay, so the next spindle that I got is by Classy Squid Fiber Company made by her husband. It's a die cut aluminum wool um, spindle and you can take it apart and put it together and whatever else you want to do. So it comes with a hook, the wool, and the wall comes top and bottom wall and it comes with three shafts. Mine are carbon fiber shafts, but he also has wood shafts if you prefer, if you would prefer a wooden shaft. So, so all you have to do, give me a second, because I don't want that getting tangled up. Maybe he could put like a little buffer between this um, screw and the cock. Like put a little divot there. Alright, and the other reason you guys haven't seen me a lot is because I've been watching my baby, which isn't my baby, it's my granddaughter, but yeah, I've been spending a lot of time with the bee. So just put your um, whorl up there, and then you screw on your hook.
and then it's ready to spin. I'm trying to, there we go. I also bought some fiber from them and this is it right here it's um this is cuttlefish number 96 and it's two ounces and then this was soft down mulberry nylon and flax and it was two ounces so I was spinning this one just tearing off little pieces here and there So just pulling a little bit off. I want you guys just to watch how long these things well, it's gonna slow down because it's letting this twist build up too much. But if you're standing up and you're spinning with this funnel, it spins forever. And it was well worth the price tag. It just spins and spins and spins and spins and spins. And it's just still going pretty fast. I wish you guys could see that how fast it spins. So, but this was my favorite spindle acquire, uh, that I acquired over the weekend. And I'm just, it might, it might, forced me to sell other spindles in order to acquire more of these because of how perfect these spindles are. I mean, it's just amazing. Amazing. I love it. And if you're and if you're interested, just contact them. Um, you can find them online, Classy Squid Fiber Company. Um, let's see if they're going to be at any venues near you so you can test one of the spindles. Um, I'm telling you, this was an amazing find, and just love it. Okay, so that was this spin. fiber from there. So those are my three spindles I purchased. Alright, so the next fiber I got was from Blackberry Hill Farm. and They're out of Hudson, New York. And the name of the sheep is Coco. It's four ounces of roving and it's Cormo. And so it's in these little balls. And it's more, she's more, and they had a big ball of her fiber, a big pound ball of her fiber that was 40 bucks. I might be getting the rest of it because most of you know how much I love more fiber, but I try to be good. And so I got just this small ones to, to spend. Um, and I'm going to spend the spin. Everything I got, I'm planning on spend the spin because it's time for me to do my annual being fiber on all my spindles and I want to use get rid of this fiber that I just bought so so yeah so I will be spindle spinning all of this fiber and the other fiber that I got and this was my last fiber purchase it is some Jacob from 
It's eight ounces. And it was from Jenny Jump Farm. And um and it's white, the brown, and more. So this is gonna be a fun spin too. So yeah, it feels feels pretty good, so Alright, so the next thing that I got is from my friend Jerry. She made a soap and she also made us project bags. So this is the project bag that I picked. And I used it actually to carry my medicine um, during the weekend. I put all my medicine in here. Uh, with pill bottles and stuff. Because I rarely use my project bags. I have bunch of them they're just over there I rarely use them but I do use them for other things when I need them like you know um, toiletry bag uh, medicine bag you know pins crochet hooks what have you but um I love that I love it that old world like it has you know an old world um like it's like an old suitcase or something you know old suitcase with, from Paris or something so that's what that makes me think of. Alright, so the next thing I have was a parking lot transaction that took place. And it was with Brooke of um, Fully Spun. Okay. And so we were pulling up on Sunday parking. And I hear someone screaming my name. And I'm like, what in the world? Do we need to lock the doors? Because people rarely recognize me at these venues and be it for she spins. So I'm like, who would know me? You know, other than like, you know, Sharon and some of the people I've, that I meet or talk to online frequently. So I look over and I see this young woman get out of a car and I'm looking, I'm like, it looks like Brooke, but her hair is gone. <laughs> and it was Brooke, she had cut her hair off. And I was wanting to joke around with her and I was gonna go, What come the fan ball? <laughs> but I didn't do it. <laughs> so so we had a parking lot transaction because she had been at the venue, one of the vendors, where you had to have a ticket, I believe, to get in. And so I said, do you have any yarn left? Because I wanted to get some of her yarn. And she said, yes. So I picked out these two from her, it's Fully Spun, that's the name of her business. And she's FullySpun.com. So it's called Full Rainbow. And it's a um, Superwash Merino. So I picked out two of these. Because I want to make something for my grandbaby. And it's 108 yards for each of these. So that's 216 yards. And I gotta find a pattern for, for my baby. And, um, and then I picked out these two, which is the killer eggplant. It's an iron weight. It's also super wash merino. And they're 190 yards each. And I'm, okay, you can kind of see the purple purpley but the color on this is gorgeous and it makes me think of the black beauty eggplants she did a, a, a awesome job dyeing this okay so that's all of my rhyme back purchases i have one other item i got soap from my friend sharon too it's over there somewhere and then barb also made us lip balm I personally don't use lip balm, so I'm gonna give mine to my daughters who do, because I I found that using lip balm actually makes my lips dry, because your lips aren't making their natural oil. I've never really had a problem with my lips drying or cracking, so I'm giving mine to my girls. Um, Marissa uses chapstick type products all the time, so I'm gonna give it to her. And that's it. That's my Rhinebeck haul. That's everything I got from Rhinebeck. Um, I worked on my baby blanket while I was there. And I worked on my sister's blanket while I was there. Um, 
this is how far I am. I'm on the second ball of yarn on the baby blanket. So this is how much, how big it is now. And um, you guys can see that pattern. And I'm never, ever, 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 ever knitting another blanket ever, ever. I will crochet. Because I could have been finished with this blanket weeks, months ago if I'd have crocheted it. I could have did the same pattern with a smaller, with a G-hook crochet. And it would have looked very similar to this. Um, and then this is my sister's blanket that I'm working on. It's a shell pattern, and I'm crocheting it, and it's um, five double crochet shell, and the shell is three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. That's the pattern, all the way across. Just figure out your count and get with it. Uh, so this, most of this was done, because I think when I left, I only had four rows. So I'm going right here. So all of this was done in the car um, and sitting at the house and um, the house was rented in New Ports. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Uh, as soon as my grandbaby wakes up, I'm going to be playing with her and um, I'm going to probably sit here and uh, do some spinning. I have bobbins I've never applied on my spinning wheel because I've been Having too much fun being a grandma. So I guess my running away to Canada is off the off the menu for now. Uh, perhaps soon, maybe in the future, I'll run away, but it won't be Canada. And she's bringing me my baby, so I'm gonna let you guys go because we have to watch Dave and Ava on YouTube. She needs an hour. So. She won't now. Hey, and this is my baby. Say hello. Say hello. Say hey. <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to get you to take a nap. All right. Okay. All right. She's been throwing up. Okay. So, say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> yeah. You